It's supposed to be a boost for the police department's budget. Money seized from criminals, then used to fight crime. But after three months of asking for public records, Fox San Antonio has yet to see details on how the money is being spent. And officers on the street are being asked to pay for some of their own equipment. Now, after several attempts to speak with uh, Police Chief William McManus, he agreed to an interview with Aryami Vaheen, who has been in on this investigation. At first, management at SAPD said it would cost us $2,200 to get the records. When we got them in a hard copy and electronically, much of the information had been blacked out because we were told it involved covert operations and releasing it would put officers at risk. But using a simple computer program, we recovered the secret information and a lot of it does not appear to involve covert operations. For example, the money was used to attend a Hispanic conference, tens of thousands of dollars for something called automotive administrative fees, and rent for offices for the bike patrol. We asked Police Chief Bill McManus why these items would be concealed in a public record. How would that be an exemption under the Texas Open Records Law? I couldn't tell you, Yami. I'm just telling you what I know. Under Texas law, it is illegal if someone fails to release a public record or if you alter the public record and present it as real. Who decided what was going to be redacted on there? That I don't know. There's been no violation of the law. But how do you know that unless you do an investigation to see if that in fact is We've true? had lengthy conversations about it, about what happened, why it happened, and I just explained it to you. And that we've asked time and time again about who was involved in those redactions. Would you, would, would you tell us? I mean, if you've had him you've had meetings, you should know who redacted or who asked them to redact it. I don't know who actually redacted the, the document. I can't imagine if you're doing something right, you wouldn't want to talk about it. And if you're doing something you shouldn't be doing, you probably don't want to talk about it. So I think the burden now is shifted to the department to demonstrate they're doing things right. Texas Senator John Whitmire is the head of the Criminal Justice Committee and helped rewrite the state's asset forfeiture law. The police department works at the pleasure and under the rules and oversight of the council and the mayor. So it may be at some point, like right now, to go ahead and get the elected people who run for office, who can speak on behalf of the public, to make sure that the police department is doing things right. The right thing, according to Whitmire, is to use most of this money for equipment and training. If they need, for instance, in some jurisdictions, they've bought bulletproof vests, I know, that were not purchased by the city. So in this instance, if it's holsters, lights, or whatever really furthers the effort to fight crime and to keep the officer safe would be an excellent idea and, and supports the concept of felony forfeiture. That's Senator Whitmire's opinion, whatever you want to do with that. Don't you think that should be a priority, though, to get the equipment and the training back out on the field first and then everything else? We have the, we, we have, we spend uh, a lot of money on training from the asset seizure fund. But according to last year's report to the state, only $8,882 was spent on firearms, vests, and personal equipment out of $1.7 million in the accounts. And since Chief McManus has not yet given us supporting documents, we cannot tell you who was trained, where they traveled, or if the money was actually used on training officers who are out on the field. I would ask you to go back and investigate who decided those redactions because somebody's not telling you the truth. Part of the truth is missing. Your side of the story, Yami. Now today, the Texas Attorney General's Office notified us that they are now reviewing Fox San Antonio's complaint that SAPD management may have violated the Public Information Act. Now to see the entire interview with Chief McManus, you can go to foxsanantonio.com and click on Raw News. So I know it took you a while to get to the chief. You finally did. Now how much, these tactical units asking for equipment, how much are they asking for? We're being told about $60,000 to equip the men and women that work in those units. And that would be for the holsters and the things that they were looking for before. Correct. Right? Correct. How much money right now in, is in that asset account? All right, we got it down. $2,252,340 as of last week. All right, thank you very much. Thanks, thank Yomi.